Hi everyone, today we're looking at a closed traverse for a rise and fall booking sheet. Okay, what a closed traverse is, at station one we survey, our survey starts at the benchmark. We go around a building, which could be for a drainage, for drainage heights. We've got a second station, a third station, a fourth station, and our last reading goes back to our benchmark. Okay, so that's our closed survey, closed traverse. Okay, uh, the first thing we have to do is identify the the places where our readings were taken. There we have them over there. Uh, then we put our readings in. So it'll be back site, for intermediate site, foresight. Then we do our next readings. It just starts again uh, at our change station. So that would be, that's, uh, uh, that's C. There we have it here, B and C. And then we just continue down with our intermediate sides and then we just complete the sheet. All right, then what, what happens? We then uh, determine the rise and fall. So when we we have this 1.476 minus 1.496 gives us a negative number. So that's a fall of 20 mil, which is shown as 0 0.020. Our next one, we've got 1.496 minus 1.582 gives us a negative number again of 0 0.086. So that's a fall again. Then we have a 1.748 minus 1.640 gives us a positive number of 0 0.108. So that's a, a, a rise. Then we just continue the process uh, down here. We've got 1.64 minus 1.72 gives us a negative number of 0 0.08. And then we just finish that process. All right, the next thing we do, we do our uh, reduced levels. We've got 1.3, 139.5 minus uh, 0 0.020 gives 139.480. That was taken away because it's a fall. We've got another fall again, so that 0 0.086 is taken away from 139.480, and that gives us our answer there. Then our next one's a rise, so that goes plus it'll be 139.394 plus 0 0.108 gives us 139.502 and we just continue that process uh, through the booking sheet. Then we total our back sites and our four sites. Uh, we total our rise and our falls. We then do our first check which is uh, total back sites minus total four sites and that gives us zero. Then total rise, our second check is total rise minus total fall gives us zero. And our last check is first RL minus the last RL, and that gives us zero. So that sheet is complete uh, and it's accurate because everything balances. All right, good luck.